Hi, I'm Ryan Moon, a professional footballer at Stellenbosch FC. I'm a striker. Um, I think my love for football came in when I was probably the age of six years old. Um, I, I think obviously watching, obviously growing up in a football family, you were kind of pulled towards football as the main sport. We used to have Sunday league tournaments. We used to have loads of fun. Um, and that's what I think I kind of fell in love with the age of six years old. We were really fell in love with football. But I think to be honest, I've lo I love all types of sports. I love uh, I love my rugby, hockey, cricket, and soccer. And um, I think I had to choose at a certain age. I had to choose which sports I wanted to do serious. I wanted to take serious rather. Um, and that's where I come back to. It was always going to be football. I've loved it from a little boy. Um, I've loved the soccer soccer tournaments we used to have on a Sunday. Obviously, I had to go to church before I could go to to the soccer tournament. But uh, yeah, it was. It was good. I think that's where I really fell in love with football and um, obviously watching my brother play for the national team and in the PSL really gave me a lot of inspiration and I didn't need to look much further as, as to a role model and being my brother. Um, so that's where, I, like I said, it was easy for me having to watch him and having to see the things he does. And so I was playing football um, in high school for my school college and we used to have lots of tournaments obviously into provincial schools and and that's when I got seen by Ernst Bittendorf. Um He saw me playing in one of the tournaments and I got invited to train and obviously from the training session I got given excuse me given a contract and um, I think that's when my life kind of changed you know as a young boy still in high school I think I was in grade I was in grade 11 I just got my first professional contract um, there were so many things going through my mind, to be honest. I was so excited. I was excited. I was nervous. There was just so many feelings boggled into one little basket. And um, I think it, for, for, for a young boy at, at high school, it's pretty cool. As a player, I'm hoping to achieve a lot of stuff, you know, personal and as a team, as a current team that I'm with now. Um, you know, I think I still have a lot to offer. It's, it's the world's still my oyster at the moment. The league is still my oyster. And I think with more and more game time as I'm getting under coach Steve, uh, Steve Barker, um, I think I can only improve as a player on and off the field. So I think definitely my, my goals are to, to be the top goal scorer in the league, to, to go overseas. And I think it's still on the table. It's not, it's not far gone. And I think the only person that can believe in, in everything I've just mentioned now is myself. I have nobody but myself to believe in and um, you know at the end of the day your coaches your technical staff everybody can tell you you're good but if you don't believe it as a player you're not really going to go far so i think the support that i'm getting from my current team is is great thus far and i think like i said personally i want to be the top goal scorer in the league push for play the player of the season and uh, help the team you know help the team grow it's, it's a lovely team that we have uh, at Stellenbosch fc um, good environment with the coaching staff and the management. So as a team, we still are obviously relatively new, but uh, a lot of good stuff ahead as a team. And I'd love to win cups with the team. You know, bring some away to the to the Winelands. And I think that's definitely achievable at this club. And uh, so yeah, that's my 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 goals at the moment. I think short term is just well, I'm not sure what's happening now with the current league. But uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm really happy with my performance so far. I think I could have had a lot more goals. Um, but just obviously just coming back from 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 uh, from Europe and I missed out on the entire preseason. So it took me quite a while to get up to speed with the the fitness level of the guys that were here in training. So it was always up and down in terms of my fitness. So now that my fitness was, was really on, on point, I think I started quite a few games. I did really well to help the team with goals and assists where I could just try and help the team. I think in football, it's, it's, it's no iron team, it's about being a team player. So, so far, you know, I'm happy to do the game time. I think that's the main thing. That's why I joined the club is to help the club and to get game time again. So, so overall, so far in the season, I'm, I'm happy. I think sometimes you need a bit of luck on your side. And um, I just arrived there. I think I'd arrived two weeks before the season B was to start. I was supposed to actually go there. They wanted me there like six weeks before the in the preseason, but I had chosen to go somewhere else. So I'd arrived there late, and I think already me having chosen chosen in somewhere else to go before them was a, was already a bit of a back back. How can I say it's a bit of a um, 
disadvantage to me, should I say. But uh, nonetheless, I went there. I put my blinkers on. I worked hard. Uh, like I said, just a bit unlucky not to get the contract. In the end, the coach had taken someone that they had brought before the six weeks had started. And obviously, he had seen him in a lot more uh, games and stuff. I think I only played one friendly. So it obviously wasn't enough time for the coach in here to make a, a call as to who he's going to take. And I think having seen the other person for a bit longer and a, few, a lot more weeks, should I say, it, that's what kind of came in between me. I think a message just to the fans is that we currently faced with, you know, a, a huge crisis in our country, not only in our country, but in the entire world with the, with the COVID-19. So I think it's just mainly be safe, um, you know, enjoy your time with your loved ones, time that you'll never get again. So I think use this time to, to get closer to your loved one, get closer to people that you were not close to before and people that you had missed in before. But uh, football will return. We will get back. We miss playing for you guys. I miss playing for you guys. I know everyone in the entire PSL footballers are dying to get back on the pitch and play. But safety comes first. Our lives matter. Our lives matter. Your the entire country, the entire world, lives matter, you know. So um, stay safe. Um, God bless.